Hello and welcome to Happy Handicrafts. My name is Joanna and today we're going to be making a paper sloyd envelope. Now if you've been around with us for a while, you're going to remember that we did a paper sloyd envelope back near the beginning of the first year. I think it was one of the first projects we made. This envelope is very different. It's much more traditional with a lot more measuring. It's project number 10 from the book, from the second year, actually from the book, Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. I think you're gonna love it and it might just change the way you send out letters from now on. So stick with us, we're about to get started. Now the materials you're gonna need for this project are the book, Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich. I'll link to it below. You're also going to need an X-Acto knife, a pencil, a ruler, some glue, a cutting mat, and a good quality paper. We're using some 12 by 12 inch scrapbooking paper. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our rectangle. This is going to be a 7 inch by 10 and a half inch rectangle so we're going to measure on the left hand side down from the top seven inches and we're going to draw a dot then we're going to move the ruler in to the right hand side and we're going to measure down again from the top seven inches and draw our dot we'll then join those two dots with our ruler to form a line. Be sure to hold that ruler firmly in the middle or you won't get a straight line. Next we're going to measure in at the top. We're going to measure in from the left 10 and a half inches. And we'll draw our dot. Then we'll move the ruler down to the line we've already drawn. We're going to measure in from the left, 10 and a half inches, draw our dot, and then we're going to join those two dots with our ruler to create another line. Now very carefully, using our X-Acto knife, we're going to cut out our rectangle. We now have our seven inch by 10 and a half inch rectangle. You're gonna position it horizontally and then along the top, measuring in from the left, we're gonna measure, place a dot at half an inch, three inches, and eight inches. Now we'll do the same thing along the bottom. Measure in from the left and place a dot at half an inch, three inches, and eight inches. 
Now using our ruler, we're going to join the half inch dots with a line. Now we'll join the three inch dots with a line. Always holding that ruler firmly in the middle. And now we'll join the eight inch dots with a line. We're next going to place dots on the left hand side at the two and a half inch mark and the five and a half inch mark. We're going to do the same thing on the right hand side of our rectangle. Measure down from the top and place a dot at two and a half inches and then at five and a half inches. Now using our ruler, let's join the two and a half inch dots with a line. As you can see, Lucy is always very careful about getting this exact. It does make a big difference in our final product. Now let's join the five and a half inch dots with a line. Now measuring on our first vertical line, we're gonna place dots at the three and a half inch mark and the four and a half inch mark. We're now going to place or draw slanting lines from the left of the paper through the dots to the intersection of the second vertical line with the horizontal lines, as you can see Lucy doing here. That might be a little complicated to figure out, but just watch what Lucy's doing and it will give you some guidance. We're gonna do the same thing along the right-hand side of our paper. Measuring right along the right side, we're gonna put, put a dot at three and a half inches and four and a half inches. From those dots, we're gonna draw slanting lines to the inner corners. Next, we're going to place dots on the top at three and a half inches. Make sure these dots are right on the edge. Five and a half inches and seven and a half inches. Now we're going to put dots on the second vertical line at one and a half inches. and six inches. And we'll do the same on the third vertical line. Measuring down from the top, we're gonna place a dot at one and a half inches and six inches.
Now along the bottom, we're gonna place a dot at three and a half inches, four inches, seven inches, and seven and a half inches. Now we're gonna draw our slanting lines based on the diagram in the book. If you don't have the book, you can watch how Lucy is doing this and copy. But the book is really helpful in these cases because the description is not very descriptive. These lines are creating the flaps for the envelope. As you can see, Lucy is taking her time and drawing the lines very accurately. This makes such a huge difference in paper sloyd. Even a millimeter off on a model makes a difference. Now that we're finished drawing the lines, we're gonna cut out our envelope using our X-Acto knife and cutting mat. In this case, the diagram is again quite helpful in knowing which lines to cut. As you can see here, we find it easier to cut from the inner part of the paper towards the outside. For some reason, it just works better. Now using our ruler, we're gonna do the initial folds. You're basically gonna fold along every line that you see, that you've drawn. This 
This is an optional step, but we find that it improves our accuracy. Once we've done the initial folds, we reinforce them with the flat side of the ruler, making them folds nice and crisp. Now it's time to put it together. We're gonna glue the tab, that half inch tab, and make sure it's on the inside. And we'll fold the sides over. Then we'll glue the bottom tab just around the edges and bring that up, holding it firmly in place until the glue sets. Make sure you're not gluing it to the back side. And that's it. This envelope will hold any normal sized paper. We folded an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper in four and it fits in perfectly. There's your paper sloyd envelope. I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did, please subscribe and share our channel with your friends.